Hey guys, 54 News Store here, and today we're going to do a Construct 2 to Android tutorial. So, um, you've already developed your game, you know it runs in the run layout system, you already have the AB, you know, the old Game Boy style control, you have the left, the right, you know, the jump key, everything works. You know, you got a stable frame rate in the debug layout, everything is awesome. You know, your about page has green dude, version 1 description, and an ID because you're going to need those to export. So what do you do after that? Well, you actually go to the export and we're going to choose Cordovia. Since I have upgraded to the latest version of Construct 2, um, everything's changed, but it's actually worked out. I just exported five projects and they were like really, really easy. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So with Cordovia, it's no export. Oh, I have to, you know, do a different export of iOS or something else. It's no Cordovia c takes care of iOS and Android. So with the description, it says, it says publish a mobile app using any Cordovia compatible platform such as PhoneGap Build, Intel XDK, or Ludwig's WebView based platforms. I've used all of these and I really kind of prefer Intel XDK. Now Ludwig actually is really nice. Um, PhoneGap does have its usefulness is it being extremely easy but Intel XDK has actually become the easiest and actually one of the stable, most stable frame rates that I've actually tested so far. So right now we're going to jump into uh, Cordovia so we're going to export to export to that. So I'm uh, going to, I'm going to export it um, to an external drive and then let's see Android game test. Uh, images and media are going to be also, uh, regular. I do standard format. If you want a smaller file size, do brute. You will get extremely smaller file sizes depending on your uh, PNG compression levels. Also, minify, minify script. Now, I can't do this to the fact that I need a curtain Java that I'm running to uh, build a program. But um, I highly suggest you actually minify Java to make sure that your programs the smallest file that it can be but also they can run very smoothly now if you don't select this it's still going to run smoothly it just may be a little bit bigger than um, if you have minified minif shrunk it so we're going to select next okay it's telling me it doesn't appear to be valid so I have to actually go in it's because I try to do something right off the cuff so I'm actually going to select uh, okay so I don't have my external drive um, in. So I'm going to go to, to desktop and I'm going to say new file and then um, I'm going to say game. Uh, I'm going to say the same thing. I'm going to say Android test. Okay, so I'm actually going to select that. So that little error before was actually just my fault because I didn't have my external drive clicked, uh, popped in. So I'm going to say Universal Devices on Cordovia Options on the next screen. You do a ha a handsets only or tablets only, but I'm going to do Universal. I'm going to hide status bar. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm not going to use any of the permissions things because I don't want to use those. I'm going to unselect iOS and I'm going to select Android. Minimum supported iOS is any for the uh, iOS, but since we don't have that, it's going to just void that. And then minimum for Android is going to be 4.0, but if I, when I pop down, it says any 4.0 to 5.0 lollipop. So I'm going to say 4.0. I'm going to say export. It's going to export to uh, to the fi um, files area that I suggested. I'm going to say open up destination. I'm going to highlight that or copy it and then I'm going to go to Intel XDK. I'm going to start now for Intel XDK I'm going to give you guys some information. You're going to have to download the program you're going to have to create an account. It's free so you don't have to worry about any costs there and once you create an account, log in and everything, it's going to have to update and after that you're good to go. So in Intel XDK it should actually literally look like this so we're going to say start a new project import an, an existing HTML5 project. I'm going to say browse. I'm going to say search for a certain project. I'm going to say OK. Name of project, game, create, source directory. Leave this alone. Do not touch this. This has caused me a lot of heartache. Um, 
So I'm doing. I'm going to leave this alone, and I'm going to say game engine. It's going to be C2. It's going to say continue creating game. You're not in the heart of XDK, whatever. So we're going to say no, thank you. We're going to go to emulate to see if the game actually works. And there we go, right off the bat, Galaxy Samsung S. Now this is emulating through Mozilla 5.0, Firefox, whatever. So it's actually pretty accurate. I can also go to Apple iPod, um, iPad, whatever, and move it around. This huge big, big black mark, uh, black bar, is actually not going to be in your game. Um, it's just something that's inside of the uh, the emulator. So I'm going to go back to, actually what I have is this. This is what I have right here. I have a Samsung 2, I have a Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab 2 7.0, and it is actually running really good, um, as you're going to see in a bit. When I actually do some, uh, I'm going to show you guys the, it running in the game. So I'm going to do build. Uh, Built for Crosswalk, Android, iOS, and Windows 8. I do a lot of stuff just straight off Crosswalk for Android because you get a lot of good um, frame rate and all that stuff. It compresses it really good. So we're going to be uploading the project and then it's going to actually build the project. So right now it's just collecting all the files and there we go. It's literally, we're almost done. So we're going to say um, build app now. So we're going to say build apps and it's going to take a about between a minute to eight minutes depending on your file size so I'm gonna pause the video now and I'll be right back alright guys so it's finished building it and now what we can do is either send it email it to somebody or download it it does take a little bit to download so what I usually do is I usually email it to myself and then I download the proper file that um, I need. So at this point I'm going to end this video and then I'm going to go straight to me playing it on my device and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Alright guys, hey everybody, it's Switch 4 Newstar and today and this is uh, I moved the file to my Android device and now I'm going to record it. Now I'm also going to use a screen capture record called SCR Pro so I'm going to do that right now so I'm, that, I'm now screen recording and I'm now going to install the file that I have on my SD card so external SD card and there's the game package installer just once install And this way you can see from both ways, because my device is kind of an older one. Um, Samsung Galaxy, I think it was 2, 7.0. There we go. See, and that's with the screen recorder on. So I'm now gonna uh, turn off my screen recorder. Now my screen recorder is now off. And I'm gonna exit the screen recorder and I'm gonna go back to my game. As you can see, my game is now um, very fluid. So there we go guys and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it, is, it was better than the last one and hopefully the next one will be even better. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then guys remember to uh, like the Sakara page because uh, they're doing a lot of stuff and um, enjoy the uh, Construct 2 game engine. Bye.